massive investigation is underway to find four suspects in connection with the murder of an innocent family man over in Hoover. Police tell us cracking this case is their number one priority. WIAT 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is live in Hoover with the latest on this investigation. Mike, what have you learned? Well, Sherry, you know, the whole community is saddened and sickened by the killing of Mike Gelati. And Hoover police are stepping up patrols in the area. And the community is still mourning Gelati, the 33-year-old father and veteran who was shot and killed in front of his house Monday morning. American flags have been placed throughout the Lake Cyrus neighborhood out of respect. Now, we know that some tips are pouring in since police located the suspect vehicle in Bessemer. But the suspects are still on the loose and people are worried. Joining me now live for an exclusive one on one interview is Hoover Police Chief Nick Durzis. Chief, thank you for your time. First off, at this hour, are there any leads that could help close this case? Well, we're certainly, uh, this is the top priority for the Hoover Police Department, obviously. We're chasing leads as we speak. Uh, we've gotten uh, tremendous cooperation from uh, state, local, federal partners. Uh, I want to thank Tuscaloosa Police, who have done a lot of work for us, uh, the Bessemer Police, uh, Sheriff Hale in Jefferson County, U.S. Marshals. So we're, uh, again, using every available resource that we can to uh, bring this to an end, and we will. Now, Chief, this brutal crime has, of course, shocked and rattled the community. What's your message to people in Lake Cyrus and the wider community right now? Well, this is uh, generally a, a very safe, uh, safe city. Uh, it's a very unfortunate thing that's happened. It's sickened all of us. And all I can tell the uh, community that the Hoover Police Department is out there. We're using every available resource that we have and others. And uh, just give us a little bit of time and uh, this will come to an end. And then just lastly, if you could, what can people who are watching this do if they want to help police in this investigation? Anything they can do for you guys? Well, not only in this investigation or any other investigation. Uh, police cannot be everywhere at all the time. Uh, we ask you to be our, our eyes and ears when we're not there. If you see anything or saw anything suspicious that particular morning, please give us a call. Uh, any, we, you, know, you just never know what little tip could lead uh, to, the, uh, to the end of this thing. So uh, we'd appreciate any information anybody has. Thank you so much for your time, Chief. I appreciate it very much. That was Chief Nick Durzis, Hoover Police Department. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have another update on how the neighborhood is responding and some reaction from the family. Live in Hoover, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.